HTB family, how's it going? Welcome to Hold The Ball. Hope you guys are well. Thanks again for tuning in. Look, before I start, it, it's again another, um, it's a faceless recording again, just due to me trying to get over COVID and blah, blah, blah. But I'm saying that again, I give you the same passion and all that jazz. Now, as we look into it, it's the Rabbitohs who host the Warriors in a game that I think uh, will be quite, um, yeah, well, look, I suppose these no need for spoilers, is there? Anyway, but before I get into it, hit that intro. Alright guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks again for tuning in. Yes, it's the Rabbitohs who host the Warriors. I'll be giving guys my thoughts on the squad and all that jazz there, but I suppose before we get into it, I just want to quickly just talk about how lackluster the Warriors have been. As we all know as well, it's been made mention that uh, Cappy McFadden will be coming back to the Warriors in a position of a general manager, overseeing selection, recruitment, and all that jazz there. Um, again, it's ironic, but in saying that, I'm actually pretty pleased that he's here. I might do a in more in-depth video on it sooner, actually, so stay tuned for that. Now, here we go. The Warriors squad, right, and then we'll just go from there. Ready? Let's go. Fullback is Reese Walsh. The wings are Dalian Watson and Sineznak, as well as uh, Kossi. And the centers are Montoya, as well as um, Ewan Aiken, who makes his return to the center position. The halves are Egan, as well as Sean Johnson. And the props are Adam Fennel Black, as well as Harris. The hooker is Lasse. The second row is C. Surinan, as well as Murchie. And the lock is Ben... <coughs> and the lock is Ben... The interchange is Otokolo A4 Kato as well as Karen. And the interchange is Louis, Asi, Pompey, Wale as well as Jackson Fry. Alright guys, yeah, that's that's the squad there. Look, my thoughts on the squad. It seems to me like Stacy Jones had a few too much to drink. And he said, yep, I have a bit of this, I have a bit of that. Swap it there, give it there. And we'll just go over that. Um, what a selection. Um, Walkman missing out. Um, look, I, I get it. Granted, I, I understand. You know, he's young and all that jazz and, and, and probably didn't play as well as he could have, right? In particular, particularly against the Tigers, whatever. I don't know. But the point is to, to have Egan there. It, it's, it feels like uh, somebody's had a bit, like it generally feels like somebody's had a bit too much to drink and has selected the squad, right? Um, they, they sort of missed a whole heap of stuff, but they got some stuff there at the same time. I guess for mine as well, I just need to sort of call out some players. Um, not in a bad way, but Aaron Penne for mine, I'm going to be honest with you about Penne. Um He's been a bit disappointing this, this season. I don't know why. Is it due to game plan? Is it due to him? But he was supposed to come in and, and give us a bit of a lift. Uh, you know, a, a bit of an ad, added sort of a, a guild, if you will. You know, a bit of strength. And he hasn't. He's been quite disappointing. Um, especially for, for a person of his size. Um, he hasn't really added much to the Warriors, and um, that's been something that's been disappointing. But in saying that, we get to see him at lock, so uh, we'll just see how we sort of how how he sort of goes there. Wait, Egan at five eight. Is this a is is this something that's going to be a long long term thing, or is it just more like a Stacey Jones thing? Look, obviously it is just a Stacey Jones thing, but yeah, it's interesting nonetheless. Um, Aitken back in centers that could do some things there. As for Reese Walsh, well, yeah, whatever. Um, look, uh, Curran being pushed down to interchange is quite interesting. Um, and the bench, sorry, it's very interesting. I would have had um, Bene, I would have had him over Bene any day of the week, but uh, there you go, All right? Um, it's it's an interesting selection, obviously. The Warriors as well going off the goal or two, and last could be working off tangent with each other. Uh, yeah, I mean, look at the squad here, I don't know what to make of it really. Um, I'll probably bring us in, I'll bring Volkman in. I'm happy Pompey's been dropped, that's for sure. I don't mean this in a bad way, and I don't mean this lightly, but I hope I don't see him play again for us, to be fair with you guys. It's been too much of the same. But in saying that, as you know, for the squad overall, well, you know, you, you take it for what it is. Weaknesses and strengths, I guess, for the squad. A lot of weaknesses. As for strengths, like I said, um, the strength is we look forward to next year, right? No, no, no more to, to sort of say there, I guess. Um, in comparison, though, you know, the, the five players to watch out for as well, I guess well, I'll go over the Rabbitohs first. Latrell Mitchell, Alex Johnston, Cody Walker, um, I reckon Koloma Tangi as well as uh, a toss-up between Arrow or Murray. Right, as for the Warriors, well, you go Reese Walsh, you go Ewan Aiken, you probably go um, Anofano or Blake, and I reckon probably Curran off the bench, and then probably Lusik, yeah? That's what I reckon. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, as for the predictions, yeah, look, guys, um, you, you can see I'm purposely not doing this, but the Warriors have offered me no choice... Um, 
the reality of how poor we're playing, the, these real no, there's really no need for any in-depth analysis because it's the same regular sort of thing we see, even against the Storm as we noted, right? I mean, sure, the positive is we lost by 14, but we were at home against a very, a 12, we were at home against a very weak Storm team and we couldn't even muster to bring a win. Like, the the disregard for actual just just trying to do anything like you know it's 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 beyond unforgivable um this season for mine i get it these things that have not gone their way i understand i get it you might look at me and think that i'm too harsh but the reality is this season's been unforgivable as to the results that uh that have been dished out and if you sort of accumulate it with uh, how long this has been going for bar that 2018 where we just fluked it in there just it's been a failure right from uh, ever since uh, the 2011 Grand Final, which we lost to Manly, it's it's been an ut utmost failure. That's it, right? And it continues to be. And I'm sorry, but no no disguising of, of being back in New Zealand can can hide that. And I'm sorry, but um that that's how I feel. Anyway, as I go to the predictions, I look at the squad here and I just look look at the Rabbitohs. You got Latrell Mitchell, right? You've got Cook off um, Hooker, right? And the, the the I haven't even touched on their bench: Taf, Mole, Havili, Nichols. The, the, Murray, Arrow, this team here is going to put points on us, alright, there's no two ways about it, there's no grind, don't think about, it. don't, <coughs> sorry, don't, don't uh, talk to me about a grind, don't talk to me, no, 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 it isn't, it's, it's the Rabbitohs are going to, to literally go through the squad like no tomorrow, I reckon it'll be by 50 plus, I generally mean it, um, 50 to 60 points, I reckon, Rabbitohs to win, um, it's going to be a field day for them, um, the Warriors quite clearly, uh, I don't know, I don't know, um, as as much as you, as much as I really want to try and back the boys here, as I do on a week to week basis, nah, this is going to be a, a, a bit too too hard for them. And the Rabbitohs have higher ambitions, and the Warriors, you know, we're not that type of team that likes to try and knock a team down or two, much like the Tigers or possibly the Bulldogs. No, nah, no, nah, we're a team that lets whatever you know, whatever team we face, we let them have their way of us, and we just literally just take it. We we turn around and we just uh, basically let them have their way. Basically, yeah, we we hide away, we run away, and I think this is going to be the same case here. I think for mine will be Rabbitohs. I reckon by yeah, like I said, honestly, Rabbitohs. Look, realistically, Rabbitohs by thirty odd points. I reckon. Um, I think it'll be over by the first half. This could be a demolition derby, actually. So yeah, I'm sorry, guys, but that's all I can sort of bring and say to that. As for the conclusion, yeah, look, the Warriors, um, the squad here in itself just reeks of just, I don't know, somebody who doesn't know what's going on. Um, and that's fine. You know, it's not Stacey Jones's, I guess, the forte too. Um, I would have thought that it would be more respectful, though, to bring in the likes of Ussie or Volkman instead of just having Egan at 5'8 there. A little bit of a mishap against the Storm, and he's now made the 5'8 the again. It's insulting to players who can play in the 5'8 position. Especially since Egan has, in my opinion, anyway, um, controlled most of the hooking position anyway. So for him to get dips, you know, dips here and there, I guess it does open up room for Otogoro. That's the reality, and you just got to accept it. But still, um, an interesting move nonetheless. Now, as I sort of conclude as well, um, the Warriors, <laughs> there's only so much bad you can say, or good, really, because either way, it, it, it filters really fast. And there's not much that can be said. However, I, was, I suppose I'll just finish off with this. Um, the Warriors are traveling against the Rabbitohs. Um, the Rabbitohs are on a high. I, I literally expect all their players to demolish us. Um, again, trying to feed positivity into this is really hard to. As you guys know, um, yeah, I don't know. I'll definitely be tuning in. I'll definitely be giving you guys a review on it. Um, but as for that, that's it. There's nothing else to conclude. Apart from the fact that the team selection was kind of disappointing. Apart from probably, uh, you know, Aitken being back at um, centre. That's cool. Disappointing though. Um, yeah, I don't know. You, you know, you just, I don't know. No point talking about Sean Johnson, any of that jazz there. Um, yeah, no, no. We'll, we'll literally just, uh, like, lambs to slaughter, I guess. Anyway, guys, I think I'm done with that. Give me your thoughts and opinion. Again, sorry, this has been a very dark and eerie sort of a review. Um... But I suppose, like I said, as the Warriors sort of unwind this season, um, I think you might be catching more and more of my emotion. And uh, I'm actually not very pleased with this team at all, actually. Um, there needs to be a lot that needs to be dissected and talked about, and I will. 
as I conclude. But in saying that, I want to finish off with something very positive. I've been ordering a few things as well for the Rugby League World Cup that's around the corner, and I'll be giving guys the best content available on my channel. Yes, recorded and all that jazz, but uh, for now, it's just about me trying to yeah better myself, I suppose, mentally to a degree, but I think more so physically. Anyway, take it easy. See you guys next time, and um, yeah, look, if the Warriors win, I will, I'll be very happy if they do. Right? I'm grinning now, but then I realize it's just a joke, and you know we ain't going to win. Anyway, take it easy. See you guys next time. Just remember, hold the ball.